Hill Festival starts on the 15th and it runs through the 19th, and that's always a great event down there, too. Yeah, I think there are quite a few things that are happening right now that are really super for the islands, and they're all coming up, you know, in this, this summer period, or early summer is great. You know, another quick Kapalua thing. I think most of you know that uh, Chun Golf took over golf at Kapalua recently. And everything that's going on there, the service is really at a new high. The golf course is looking fabulous. There is the uh, new director of agronomy who has done some amazing work on the golf course up at the plantation. There's a couple of places that they've added extensive flower areas. It's really, the, it's never looked better, and it's a very exciting time. David Smallwood, the director of agronomy, really great addition. He and his wife, Gigi, great addition to Maui. I was out on the uh, bay course last week, and it looked fabulous. It's really, it really is fabulous. So again, what, are there any others, or can we do a quick, a couple of these quick picks that we're uh, dying to find someone to buy? This is a real estate show. We do need to talk about all okay. these things. Okay. Uh, 100 Alahoku in Kahana. It's, a, it's actually a working farm. It's on two acres. A farm in Kahana, you ask? Yes, it's a, it's a, a sod farm on two acres. It's got a very lovely three-bedroom, two-bath home uh, that was uh, recently remodeled in 2008 and then again this year. Uh, it also has a two-bedroom, one-bath ohana. Uh, everything's conforming on the home. Uh, it's got a new, fresh coat of paint. Uh, it's been cleaned up very nice. New roof. New roof. Uh, Stained glass windows. It's a great buy. It's got good ocean views. It's a great buy at $2,695,000. Again, the working sod farm is pretty interesting because it really just looks almost like a, a golf hole, you know, like a fabulous fairway. Yes. But they actually do have somebody that they work with who is the person that harvests the sod and sells it um, around the island. So it is definitely a working uh, sod farm, which gives them the opportunity to get a variety of tax benefits, water benefits, etc. So it really, again, investment-wise, I think it's a great investment and a fabulous second home or a perfect first home. Yeah, and you know, the landscaper that uh, does harvest the sod and uses it for his landscaping and sells the sod around the uh, island, uh, basically takes care of the yard, uh, goes and harvests the sod, replants the new grass, and uh, so the owner uh, would be a kind of a gentleman farmer type person. They own the land and uh, the, the landscaper actually takes care of the farming uh, part of the property. I like the gentleman farmer idea. <laughs> yeah. you know, another similar property to that is at Puunoa Estates, uh, 56 Willie Okaiwe. It's fabulous property, over six acres. In the home there, I happened to have watched on television the other day what was the redo of South Pacific. And uh, I think the, that movie is from around 2005. But the home of the Frenchman, you all have to have seen one of the South Pacifics at one time. This home feels like that home because it's all sorts of exterior covered space. The roof there is 5,000 square feet and the home, and so that a good deal of the space is is covered, but not totally enclosed. But it's totally set up as rooms, and the house itself is around a thousand square feet, which gives it the ability to qualify as the ohana. So if somebody chooses, they can still build a residence there, or they can add on to what's there right now, and then still add an ohana. But six acres listed at three million one fifty. Again, fabulous West Maui property, and there aren't that many that you get great acreage like that in this general price range. What a great home. Uh, it's uh, Bali, Balinese style furnishings, uh, great finish work. It's got an absolutely fabulous view up there. And uh, it, it's just, it's, it's something that everybody needs to see if you're looking in that price range. You've got to stop by and look at this house. It's a great house. I kind of call it Balinese Hawaiian because of how they've done it. But really an amazing, amazing house. You can see yourself living there. And it is fabulous living, fabulous Hawaiian lifestyle because you are outside so much and the acreage, perfect. It's a beautiful house, yeah. Um, I do want to mention up in the summit, uh, Kanapali Golf Estates, uh, Betty and I are co-listing a home up there, 404 Wiku. It's uh, a four bedroom, five and a half bath. Uh, awesome ocean views. It's sitting right on the front row of the summit. 
Uh, it was listed at $2,180,000 and recently had a price adjustment down to $1,980,000. That's a $200,000 uh, price reduction. That's almost 10%. Uh, it's a great buy at less than $2 million. And the Summit is a great neighborhood. If you're not familiar with the Conopoly Golf Estates, the Summit neighborhood is, uh, well, a, a gated community inside a gated community. So the security there is uh, 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 very good for uh, a nice family, and uh, I can't say too much about too much about this house because it's got great views, and for less than two million dollars in the summit, it's a great buy. Yeah, absolutely, four bedrooms, five and a half baths. One of the bathrooms is actually outside, so that it's near the pool. So you've got a a pool bath, pool is heated, jacuzzi. Uh, and unbelievable views. It's got to be one of the best views in all of West Maui. I, I have to agree with you. It's got great views. And you know, one of the great features about this house is that the living area, that's the living room, the kitchen, the dining room, and the master bedroom are all on the driveway level of the house. So it's all on one level if um, uh, you have guests and or uh, Kids living in the house, they can either live downstairs or upstairs. But the uh, but the owners uh, get to enjoy being on the, uh, the the ground level of the house. Yeah, from the from the level which is kind of the entry level versus ground level. Oh, excuse me, the entry. You level. can actually go up, and there's a bathroom bath up there, which is a large bedroom, nice bathroom, huge closet, so that somebody could occupy that floor. It could be teenagers, it could be kids, it could be. Uh, the people who own it right now, I think when their parents visited, they would usually use that, which gave the parents total privacy and that children could be downstairs where there's another two bedrooms, two baths, and kind of like this little entry space that, again, just so that each of those bedrooms are kind of disconnected from one another and they have their own bathrooms, etc. So that you've got a three-level home. And it lives large. It is really a great home. Really, the um, the, the finishes uh, in the home are great, and I can't say enough about that ocean view. It is spectacular. Uh, one more uh, item I want to uh, mention on my quick picks is my Maui Kai Unit 503. It's a small little vacation rental studio. Uh, if you're not familiar with the Maui Kai, it sits right on the ocean at the north end of Kanapali Beach. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'm not sure if there are very many other properties in West Maui that are as close to the water as the Maui Kai. Uh, when you're in the unit, it feels like you're on the water in a boat because you can't see the uh, beach in front of you until you get out onto the lanai. Um, it's a great property and a really good buy at $359,000. I think that uh, you know, in West Maui in general, and I think that we should pay a little more attention to the condominium market. You know, a lot of these places have great rental programs. They perfect for second homes. All